What's up guys and today I'm going to show you how to make these Hufflepuff nails as we're having a bit of Hufflepuff pride but I took the Pottermore quiz and apparently I'm a Hufflepuff and when I found this out I thought I have to do some Hufflepuff nails so here they are and these are the tools you're going to need to create these designs so for starters you're going to need a scraper and nail stamper you are also going to need nail tape and a little wooden stick with a kind of like slip bit I know there's a proper name for it for like the nail world but I just can't think what it is I'll probably put it in later but you need some nail tape and a little wooden stick you're also going to need this nail plate and don't worry I shall put a link in the description below where you can get this nail plate from and finally you are also going to need all these different kind of polishes and let's begin the nail design so for starters apply a base coat to all of your nails and you are going to want to paint all off your nails yellow but before we paint our nails yellow we need to paint all of our nails white first as when we apply the yellow the yellow will be will stand out and be much more opaque with having the white base color underneath it so once you have painted all of your nails yellow the yellow nail polish has dried you're going to add a quick drying top coat you are going to need to cut 16 strips from the nail tape and you are going to apply four strips onto each nail apart from your ring finger as later on we'll put the badger on that finger so for starters you're going to put kind of stripy color of like the house colors like what's on the scarves in the Harry Potter films and you're going to want to place all the nail tape diagonally across the nail however when you place the first two strips down you are going to want to place them very closely to one another then when you place the third strip down you're going to want to place it quite further apart from the second strip and then for the third and fourth strip you going you want to mimic one the first and second strip and have them closely together so once you have placed the nail strips in the right place using black nail polish you are going to fill in the center part of the strips and leave the outer part of the nail with yellow polish once you've painted the black strip in the middle of the nail, you slowly want to peel off the nail strips. Strips. Normally when I peel off nail strips, when there's multiple ones under the one huge bit of nail polish, I normally like to pull out the outer strips first as they're more likely to dry faster, indicating that it could rip the main part of design faster than the center nail strips as, as they will be more wet compared to the outer part of the black nail polish and hopefully you guys get where I'm coming from but yeah just pull the outer strips first and then pull the inner strips and if you do make a mistake when pulling out the strips either if the nail polish is still wet Depending how bad the damage is, you might be able to use a paintbrush to fix the mistake. But anyway, now that you've pulled the nail strips off, you are going to want to wait a bit for the black nail polish to dry a bit. And once, in, and once the black nail polish has dried, you are going to want to add a top coat. And now that we've done the main kind of house colours and house scarf, of Hufflepuff on our ring finger we are going to create the badger you're going to want to find the badger print on the nail plate and using black nail polish you are just going to dab a bit under the badger and scrape through 
and then pick up the badger with the stamper and hopefully if it works it should appear on the stamper since we're going to be a bit more advanced here and do a thing called reverse stamping where before you put the print onto your nail we're going to do a bit of colouring in off the badger on the stamper and then put it on to our nail so you're going to want to get white nail polish and put it on a paintbrush and then you're just going to want to colour in the entire badger white so once you have filled the entire badger with white nail polish you are going to wait a bit for the white nail polish to dry once the white nail polish has dried you are going to want to apply a top coat onto the badger and once the top coat has dried you are going to use tweezers to pull off the badger off the stamper and now that we have our badger print on our tweezers you are going to place the badger onto your ring finger with the badger onto the center of the nail and then you are going to use the wooden stick to just help push in the sides of the badger onto the crevices of your nails on the left and right side and once you're happy to where the badger is on your nail you are going to use a top coat to help seal the badger into your nail and don't worry if you have any excess top coat around the nail just use some nail polish remover to help dissolve the top coat around and it looks like the net and it looks like the badger is on your nail perfectly and once you have done that you have completed your Hufflepuff nails and I hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video leave me a like if you have any if you have any other ideas of what I should do for nail art on this channel leave me a comment below and if you enjoyed the video and want to see more of my stuff then subscribe because that would be awesome and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!